Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and today's game sees Bulldozer Power taking on Peninsula Transport. We've got Bubbly Merchandise uh, pitching for us today. No changes to the Bulldozer Power lineup uh, that had a successful outing last week. Uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be up to bat first because we're on the road at the motor yard. Um, we'll be facing off against Blix Gornock, uh, who's pitching for Peninsula Transport. Okay, let's uh, get it underway. Well, is here Cindy? Uh, not a lot can be said about Cindy that hasn't been said before, but I don't suppose that's going to stop me. She swings at the first one. It's a good one, and uh, she'll get a pair off that one. Yeah, no hanging around today. Uh, Cindy Vapid there, making a difference, and a two-base hit to get us started. Here's Ulysses' failure. He's a uh, big lad, uh, batting second in the order. Not usually where he lives, but uh, that's where he is right now. That was a nice pitch. Could have, could have had that one. No, 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 no. That one was, that was no good, that was. It was a little high, but failure's got a good chunk of it, and it's out of here. Well, uh, you could have hoped for a, a, a more pleasing opening if you're a Bulldozer Power fan. Failure there, knocking it right over the fence in, uh, in centre field. And uh, a two-run opening gambit. Uh, here's Papal Event Horizon. He, uh, now you see, a bit of overconfidence there. That one was sinking from high. That's more like it. Almost brains the pitcher. Uh, but uh, it's good enough to get him on base. Would have been nice to brain the pitcher, although the pitcher is being very generous vis-a-vis uh, -vis offering up hittable balls. And we all like a hittable ball. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things we all aspire to. As uh, Furious Sponge Bath now, he's batting 488 so far this season. You're calling these strikes there, uh, um, I'm not. I'm not buying it. This could be trouble. And, uh, and one out there, Papal run out there to second, but... Uh, it's only one out. It's not the end of the world. Here's Zoltan. Uh, he's had two home runs so far this season, which is a little low for him. Usually he will hit a few more than that. But uh, as long as he gets on base, we're, we're generally quite happy with our lot in life. Uh, an exciting opener for all. Oh, and, and could it be? Zoltan, not quite fast enough there, but a bit of bit of uh, juggling attempt going on from the pitcher and it came up badly uh, two outs now here's Julius Hardware to try and salvage something from the inning that's ball one uh, runner on second that's ball two Julius Hardware not not biting on any of this yet hey, he's gone for that one though and that will do nicely uh, that will put runners to the corners not quite enough distance on that one to go for home and uh, that will bring up... Oh, what? Who? Why are we... Uh, okay, we're playing Bernie Crampons, apparently. Yeah, well... Uh, well, uh, And our story will end here. But it's okay. Uh, uh, we believe in Crampons. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in the lineup. He does have a habit of getting on base. That'll do. Crampons there. Bats are run in. Runners now to first and second. And uh, three runs for Bulldozer Power. Here's Kojak Misteron, who we, uh, we dropped down it. Oh, crikey. This is an opportunity, uh, but uh, Kojak was dropped down the order because she had uh, had been struggling a little of late, but that's a nice hit. Go, people. Go, 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 go. That's a home run. Um, Yeah, all right. Well, I hadn't necessarily anticipated uh, it going well uh, this early in the game, but we've all been here before, and uh, this is Blix Gornick. There's no one on base, just, you know... Swing away, Blix. No, not Blix. She plays for the other team. Oh, yeah, this is uh, bubbly merchandise. If you get on base, uh, that'll be a delight, but it really doesn't matter at this stage. No, that is... Uh, no, we've, we've done everything we need to tell you. That strikes out. Okay, it's less than ideal, but uh, it's, that's life. So, at the end of their first inning at bats, uh, Bordeaux's a pair of six runs. Crikey. And, uh, well, that's, I mean... Uh, Gornick's uh, pitching career may well be over now, because you can't you can't just do that. Anyway, here is uh, here's Scott Lemon uh, facing off against Bubbly Merchandise. There's there's strike one. Not uh, not the greatest pitch in the world, but it was on target and he didn't swing at it. So so we're largely happy. Furious dives underneath it like a legend. Uh, Papal's going to have to retrieve that one from the fence, and uh, a two base hit. This seems familiar. 
Yeah, I think we just saw this, didn't we? Here's Myra's Sacrifice. Uh, strong batter, 341 this season. Uh, uh, two home runs. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, remain calm. Stay confident. Uh, we've got to... We've got to learn to play defensively at some point. Kojak, 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 Kojak. Just a little bit short on the dive there. All right, strike two. Popped up. Someone get under it. I really don't care who. And the pitcher has it. Out number one. Uh, here's Kira refund. Uh, she's, uh, you know, so-so, but uh, possibly a little under the weather. Is she the, uh, is she the catcher? She's the catcher. Yeah, uh, you see, that's that, that'll do it every time. Catchers, they do get tired. Right, there we go. Straight to Furious, who throws to first, and that's out number two. And this brings up Cuckoo Joski, who's uh, a, a new member of the team this season, and uh, will be hoping to to make an impact as quickly as possible. That's that's an impactful kind of. That's gone a very long way. Crikey. Lorks. That one left... I mean, that left the stadium. Yeah, that one really didn't want to be here. A 497-foot uh, home run. And uh, for those in the crowd today uh, who are hoping to see a show, they're seeing one. Uh, the show is very much in town, and they've all got tickets. Now, several of you are going to be saying, please stop putting them right at dead centre in the strike zone, please. And I kind of go, I'd love to. Strike two. That was good. Nice bit of curve action. Uh, we'll try the change up just to fox this one. Well, it's going to be good enough. Furious on the ball. And that's out number three. Uh, so uh, so not a complete washout for Peninsula Transport as they managed to get two runs. Uh, six, place two. At the end of one, uh, here's Cindy Vapid, uh, who will be hoping to continue the form that she showed with her first at-bat. She won't, but, you know... No, 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 no. I mean, you made connection, but it was not a good pitch. She's gone. Uh, here's Ulysses' failure. He's going he's gonna to wait for something that looks a little bit lively. That was not it. He's not going to wait at all. He's going to hit some old rubbish and get dispatched in short order. That'll bring up Papal Event Horizon as our, uh, our last optimistic batter for this. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's that. All right, we blow hot, we blow cold, we're gone. Okay, here's Mighty Buffon, who does have a Mighty Buffon, and uh, well, he's. He, I mean, what what can you say? Probably nothing is is advisable. Well, that was off target. Yeah, I was distracted by his hair. All right, that's better. Good. Uh, drawing a foul is as good as a, a swing and a miss at this point. Uh, it's, uh, that's all solid. That one's a little bit uh, on the outside. Come on, Bubbles. Stop trying to be clever. Just pitch him in. There you go. That one's gone into a useful area. Furious is in the zone. And has it. Out number one. Here's Poncho Ramirez. Two home runs and five runs battered in for him this season. And he'll be looking to, uh, to build on that today uh, against the uh, notably squishy uh, uh, Bulldozer Power defensive unit. Strike two. A lovely pitch there from Bubbles. Come on, Bubbly. Oh, no. There you go. There it is. Fastball straight up the middle. Yeah, yeah that's, that's worked well for us so far. Yeah, I'll see if you get on with this. Nice. Nah, it, uh, that's not worked. Okay. All right. Try one of these. That's uh, solid. And that's going to be a two-base hit. Zoltan there chasing it up as far as the fence. In fact, it might go for three. They're bold. They've gone for three. And they have it. A three base. A triple. A triple off that one. Well, we don't we don't like that. Here's uh, Jermaine Arc Discharge uh, getting down towards the tail end of the order here. And uh, uh, they still have hitters. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Peninsula Transport Team came in with this an eight-win record. Crampons! Nice take from Crampons. He's not going to get the throw there in time. But that could have been worse. And the pitcher... Who they're keeping in? I would have, I would have substituted him because the pitcher's having a stinker. All right, just get him. That's it. They are bunts and dies as a result of it. Uh, background to Scott Lemon, who, uh, who managed to knock in a, a double with his, uh, or a two base hit, I should say. Not a, it's that's a double, is it? Yeah. Crampons. 
to first stand the sides retired uh, another run there for Peninsula Transport who came into this game with eight wins is what I was trying to say earlier on but I didn't did manage to finish it um, yeah just I'm just letting you know they're in contention it's furious sponge bath Needs a needs a game, does Furious. He needs he needs to needs a day where he's uh, on top of top of his form, making good decisions and hitting the ball hard. That doesn't count. Okay, come on, come on. That one was too high, Furious. Should have left it. But uh, hey ho, and Furious is going for another sit down, where he belongs. Here's Zoltan. Speaking of people who could do with a hit. Uh, Zoltan's traditional position is to just whack the ball straight up to centre field. Not today, though. No, today he's decided to hit it directly to first base and get out. That leaves us with Julius Hardware to try and accomplish something. And uh, he doesn't. No. He's, uh, he's history. He's going for a, He's going back to the dugout and then coming back out of the dugout when, in all of his catching regalia uh, to sit behind uh, home plate and... Uh, you know, do some fielding and that. Uh, right, here's Myra's sacrifice. Nothing from uh, from her first at-bat, but uh, maybe, uh, well, with the way we're playing, everything could happen here. So we'll, we'll just have to see what transpires. Nothing much transpired off that one. It ended up in the crowds. Uh, two strikes now. And a beautiful pitch, and she's gone. First strike out of the day for Bubbly Merchandise. And uh, that's going to make everybody happy if they're bubbly merchandise fans. Here's Kira Refund. And uh, she's, uh, you know, the catcher. She is the catcher. That one's a good hit. That's uh, gone up centre field. Zoltan will retrieve it. Uh, gets on base. Okay. Six plays three here in the whatever innings it is. Uh, third. Third innings. I know, the Americans call it third inning. And it's their sport, so I should possibly uh, show some deference to that. Uh, but uh, in cricket, we'd call it the third innings. I know, it's baffling, isn't it? Two separate sports with completely different terminology that share a word. Strike two. Bubbles. There, slinging it in. That's not bad. Furious. Oh, could have got a, could have got a two... Two for one, a possible. No, no, no. They had to, they had to head back to the whatnot. No, it's all right. You, you made your instincts were all spot on there. Well, runner at first, two outs, and it's Jackson Clown Car to try and retrieve something from this inning for uh, the team that are currently batting, which is Peninsula Transport. Bubbly is underneath it, and it's all over. Okay, at the end of three, an actual scoreless inning there. Uh, it is 6-3 in favour of Bulldozer Power, but they haven't scored since that incredibly dramatic first innings. Uh, so they're, 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 now, they're now going to try and do something. And they're relying on crampons to do it. Well, they shouldn't have done that. Goes to Buffon, who will whip it over the first. And uh, that's out number one. Here's, uh, here's Kojak. Five home runs for her, 23 runs batted in this season. Uh, a massive home run on her first at bat, but everybody was uh, was feeling lively at that stage of the game. Uh, has she still got what it takes? No. Okay, that will bring up the pitcher, Bubbly Merchandise. Just soak the pitches up, Bubbly. Just soak them up. Soak them all up. Not that one, no. No. Hit that one up the centre field. She liked the looks of it. Hit it. And has got on base. Always, always like it when my pitchers get on base. That's always good. Uh, here's Cindy. Uh, round for her third. One of two so far. The first was a double. And that's a good thing. Uh, right. Okay. Yep. No. Nothing doing there. Cindy. Waiting for it. That was that was it, Cindy. That was the one. Yeah, I know. It didn't look great. But it was. That was the. Never mind. It's okay. Strike two. Hey, the, the umpire's letting through some of these pitches that I would say were possibly a little on the low side. Cindy swung long, but it's not long enough. And uh, she's out. The sides are tied. And uh, just like that, we're gone again. Here's Mighty Buffon. Didn't manage to get a hit from his first. Uh, but uh, this is a... It, it's a whole different situation now. Yes, second. Yeah, that's, you know, incredibly different. First one uh, goes for a foul. Second one is popped up skyward. Bubbly's coming in. Bubbly seems to be having a fun day catching as many people out as possible. I'm going to allow it. She's she's doing well so far. Here's Poncho Ramirez. 
Uh, got a triple from his first at bat. I mean, you can you can put that down to furious flame in sponge bath diving over the top of his ball, but uh, there you go. Chance for redemption. Redemption accomplished. Uh, to round out the, the line-up here, it's Jermaine Arc Discharge. Uh, a single with a run batted in for him from his first. Uh, sure, let's 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 do a bit of a, a, an away side. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you see, look, you're thinking, oh, that's nice. I wonder if they'll do that again. Not makes the pitcher, uh, and that'll be enough to get him onto first. All right, here comes. Uh, is this Blix Gordon? Yeah, here goes the pitcher. Are they going to sub him? No. All right, okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, he hasn't sucked since the first inning. I mean, he's been bad, but he hasn't. He hasn't sucked. I mean, he hasn't hasn't given up six runs or anything. But uh, let's get him shot. What? As much as we do like. Uh, it when uh, no, 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 that's not it. <laughs> I guess it is. Um, yeah, no, we like it when our own pitchers do well. We're we're less thrilled about it when the opposing pitcher has a day. All right, we're round to uh, to Ulysses, Ulysses failure. Batting three ninety four for the season. Uh, he's been hold on. Uh, bubbles. We're we're hearing now that uh, merchandise has got a nasty blister. Oh, okay. Aim. Is it an important place? We may have to make a substitution at pitching when uh, time rolls around, but we were coming up on that sort of time anyway. It's a bit early. We'll rather waited another inning, but we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you flipping, heck. Well, we were well and truly suckered by that on his Papal Event Horizon. Swinging at thin air. Papal Event Horizon. Uh, it's okay. Has he got any composure left? Not as much as he needs. No. And uh, Papal's gone as well. Here's uh, Furious, 0 for 2 so far today. And his, uh, his fielding prowess has not exactly been stellar. Swings at another high one and he'll be gone as well. We're waiting for further updates on that injury report on merchandise. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, just how injured is she? She's got no velocity left. You're gone. Okay, yeah, no, that's... Anything you do from here is going to be poor. So, uh, you've played well, but get off. Okay, right. We played conservative last time around. I think we have to go with Tulip Banter, who's uh, who's not been in as a reliever for a little while. And uh, we'll we'll just see how, uh, how she gets on. Because we've still got uh, several innings to go. And uh, anything could happen. Uh, we could because a, a secondary uh, a second reliever is certainly a possibility. Spongy, well he he made it almost, but didn't. Gave up the base. No good. No. Here's Myra's sacrifice, and uh, she's she's yet to have a hit today, but she's come to the right place for it. And uh, we're just we're just gonna you know dig deep, find some find some skills. Failure is in the zone. Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. He's got it. Okay. Sometimes they'll they'll go, yeah, yeah, I'll catch this. Sometimes they'll go like, I don't know, you might be in the right place and you've got absolutely no clue whether they're going to get it or not. That's uh, whether this is Kira Refund, their uh, Peninsula Transport fans, of which there shouldn't be any of you. No, you should all be Bulldozer Power loyalists. Strike two. Cindy, out with two. Oh, and a, uh, and a and a Kojak Mister on missed catch there. Well, okay. Well, that's, I mean, we we took the leading uh, the leading runner there, so that's not the end of the world. Two outs now, and uh, we're facing off against Kuku Jorski, who's uh, is going to endeavour to hit the ball. I would have thought, and does so. But Zoltan's on the move and has it out number three. Side is retired, and that's three consecutive innings now where nobody has scored. Uh, this is almost like baseball. Almost. Zoltan will be up to bat next, and uh, maybe maybe that piece of fielding there will fire him up with the level of confidence he needs to uh, do some damage. Not on that one. No. Zoltan standing his ground. He's waiting for it. He likes that one. Nobody else likes that one. No. no I don't like that one. That one was rubbish. Here's Julie Hardware. We hate him. We hate Julie Hardware. Nice, stupid, smug-faced Julius Hardware. And he's going to get on base. See, that's the kind of motivation that he really thrives on. Is uh, is being told that he has a stupid, smug face. Here's Bernie Crampons. 
Uh, he's batting 500 today. 286 is uh, his at-season average. And uh, and that, that stacks up with his level of... Oh, no. Uh, with his level of accuracy that he's got in terms of uh, making contact. Strike two, that one felt high. Crampons does what he needs to, gets a hit. And uh, he'll be on base. Uh, runners now first and second for Bulldozer of Paris. A great opportunity. Here's Kojak Mister on. Uh, one hit so far for her today, but it did go over the fence. It's ball one. This is the uh, 63rd pitch for Blix Gornock. Uh, he's not showing too many signs of fatigue at the moment. Uh, but we'll, we'll see if that changes. Ball three. Uh, Mr. On. Should or not have. Should not. Should not have swung at that one. She is safe. Uh, but we lost another runner. And that's two outs now. Leaving Tulip Banter to, uh, to try and score. We should substitute. But I don't want to get too deep into my pitching bucket. Because uh, uh, that's that's not that's not good. No, we're just going to have to hope that this is one of those occasions where the pitcher is, does well. Uh, they seem to be under the impression that Kojak is about to try and steal a base, uh, a high dangerous bouncer, but it wasn't good enough. What a nice hit, uh, but it didn't uh, didn't clear the uh, the infield and uh, the sides retired. The scoring opportunity there wasted. Uh, would it have been the case had I brought in someone else? Will we need it when it comes down to the final tally? Is that the moment that we can all look back on and go, yeah, yeah, you did that wrong? I mean, uh, uh, you know, aside from all the other bits that didn't quite go, you know, perfectly. Crampons gets it, whips it, out number one. Okay, good. I don't even know who that was. I wasn't really paying attention. Here's Mighty Buffon. Hasn't had a hit yet today. Uh, but the day is not yet over, and therefore everything and nothing is possible. There you are. Uh, strike one. Cindy. So a little bit out of Cindy's range, that one. But she uh, she put the effort in and was largely in the right place to give it a go. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I reward effort uh, when it is largely appropriate. But I'll give up. Uh, right, here's Tulip Banter now pitching for Poncho Ramirez. Uh, Ramirez, is, uh, he's done all right so far today, but uh, he'll be hoping for more. Because they always do. There's there's an awful lot of redundant sentences that go into uh, a, a piece of compelling baseball commentary, and that was certainly one of them. There you go, no, that's nothing. No, strike two, no balls. And uh, Tulip's looking for the magic. Is that the magic? It's magical enough. Spongy's going to get underneath it. He looks like he wants it. Oh, he does want it. That's nice. Out number two. Uh, Jermaine Arc discharge now. Two for two for him to today. To today and all of that. And uh, he's going to try and make it a triple it. There's there's some logic in there. Let's try and let's try and reel back in the commentary and, and put it on the straight and narrow path of actually talking about what's going on in the game. Because it's freewheeling, it's out there, and it, if it breaks its uh, its orbit, then we've got all kinds of trouble ahead of us. Strike two. Uh, the fouls are plenty. Crampo gets the job done, and the side's retired. Uh, moving into the seventh inning, it is 6-3 in favour of Bulldozer Power. Uh, Blix Gornock still pitching. Uh, round to the top of the order, it's Cindy Bapid up to bat. Hasn't had much success since her opening gambit, which uh, which set up the entire first inning. Uh, but that's okay. That's a good one. Cindy will get on base. Uh, only a single. But, uh, that's all I require of people. Uh, next up, it's Ulysses failure again. Only one run for him. Uh, one hit, I should say, for him so far today. But uh, who knows? Who knows how this is going to transpire? Uh, pitch out there. Oh, interesting. Again? No? Okay, well, you should have, because I've nutted that one. All right, I haven't really nutted it. Okay. I thought I'd got that one. I thought that was another fence job, but it wasn't. It, was, it fell just short and was caught out in center field. Uh, here's Papal Event Horizon. Uh, who's been a bit of a disappointment for a couple of games now. Yeah, maybe he needs to be moved down the confidence list. Hard to say. Oh, a double play there. A catch and tag out. Uh, a nice bit of defensive work for Peninsula Transport. 
despite the fact that Bulldozer Power looked like they might have possibly been going places, surely they sub him. There you go. Blix Gordock now has been subbed. Uh, Hugo Blowfish is going to come in to, uh, uh, to pitch for him, uh, to bat for him. There. Uh, yeah, you, you would bring a pitcher in while they were pitching to do all of that stuff. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. There you go. And uh, he's definitely made himself worthwhile there, getting caught out by failure over in right field. Here's Scott Lemon, uh, two for three. Today, he's, he's missed out on having much commentary said about him, so I'll say some now. Scott Lemon, everybody. He's in now on foul. Okay, right. Chilip. Oh, goes into a wind-up. That's what they say. Yeah. And... Spongy. Good. All right, okay, two outs. Uh, here's Myra Sacrifice, a zero for three uh, from Myra. She's actually got a strong batting average, though, so we would expect her to be able to get... There it is. Uh, she's, she's got on base now. Phew! Well, uh, good. Yeah. Don't encourage them, man. Don't... I mean, why would you Why would you want to, uh, to, to encourage them to actually hit the ball? Stry one. Chill it there with a very nice slider that uh, they managed to fox the batter. Grabs the ball, throws the first, out number three, and the side is gone. They're going to bring in Hank Vengeance uh, as their uh, replacement pitcher. As we head into the eighth inning, it is still six plays three in favour of Bulldozer Pat. And Furious Sponge Bath, who has nothing good, nothing doing for him today. No. And that hasn't changed. No, it hasn't. No, he's gone again. And Furious has got to be livid. Uh, here's Zoltan Zoltan. Ball one. No, nope, that was that was well inside. Strike one now. Okay, right. Zoltan swings at a high one. He's going to be caught. Uh, but it's always nice when he gets good hang time. He's not a punter. Hey, I, I don't know about that. Uh, his uh, is we hates him, Julie Hardware, who's batting 542 this season. And that's not an aberration. He's had enough at-bats now that, uh, that that's a real thing. I thought it was caught, but no, actually, that one went off the fence. And uh, Hardware, again, is on base. Here's, uh, here's Crampons. Uh, he's had two singles and a run batted in so far today, and his fielding has been on point. That's nice. Not long enough. That was a nice hit, though. You don't see him as straight as that very often. He's out, as so is the rest of the team. But, you know, you, you've, got to, you've got to take the positives where you can find them. All right. So, uh, as we head into the bottom of the eighth, it is Cuckoo Jorsky, who has a home run so far today. Uh, but uh, but precious little else. Well, I mean, what more do you want? They've, they've done their bit. They've only got three runs. I mean, crying out loud. It's, yeah, okay, that's a fair point. That one's going... In, uh, no one's going to get to that. That one has uh, bounced off the fence in the foul zone and uh, spent a long time getting there. Crampons! A bit late on the dive. I was trying to judge it. You judged poorly. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a runner to first. Uh, Jackson Clown Car up next. Hasn't had a hit yet. Uh, but uh, the more times I mention that, the more likely it is people start getting hits. So I'm going to stop mentioning that. Okay. Yep. There's a. That's nice. Oh dear. That's trouble. And that's a home run. Clown car there, nothing it over the fence, and uh, that will take the score. Six, Bulldozer Power. Five, Peninsula Transport, and this one just heated up. Uh, it was looking for a while that uh, that the uh, the deadlock that had been established in the first inning was going to remain, but it's not. No, no, it's not. No, the game is now lively. Uh, it, it's active. We've moved into DEFCON 2. As far as game situations are concerned. That's out number one. And uh, here's Poncho Ramirez. He had a triple in the first at-bat. And hasn't done anything since then. Uh, but Peninsula Transport all of a sudden are back into it. This is either going to require... Yeah, what's it going to require? Well, it's it's one of two things. Oh, Flame and Laura. Yeah, that was in the most awkward place imaginable. And that's going to be a double. It's either going to require a defensive performance from Bulldozer Power, which is not something we see, or an offensive performance in their final inning. If it is their final inning. Well, a good hit here could put them down by runs and so forth. 
Strike two. Uh, Tulip banter now. It's all important that she finds a way through here to uh, to get the job done. Zoltan's got that one. Throw to third, son. There you go. Okay, two outs. Here's Hank Vengeance, the pitcher. They're taking him out. Thought they might. Uh, they're bringing in Shep Rotten. Okay. All right, Shep. Strike one. All right. An important out, this one. Strike two. Nice pitch. Nice pitch. Good pitch. Well done. There, Tulip. Good pitching. And that's strike three. Tulip Banter coming up with a strikeout at exactly the right moment. Uh, and Tiger Chain Gang will be brought in uh, to pitch in the ninth inning. Bulldozer Power ahead by one run. They need to be ahead by more than that, I would say. And uh, they're leading off with Kojak Mister on. Uh, he's going to try and, well, anything. Oh, Kojak. Uh, hero of the revolution in the first inning. Hasn't done it there. We're going to take out Tulip. She's pitched just fine. But uh, we've, we've got to try and get another hit here. And I'm thinking it's going to be Mephisto. I need a hitter, you see. Someone who can make contact. Power is not important at this point. We're going to bring in Malibu. When she was a regular member of the lineup, not so strong. Maybe she will do better at coming in as a uh, as a pinch hitter, designated hitter, a hitter. Hit the ball, hatchet. Hit the ball. She hits the ball and does enough. That'll get her onto first, and uh, the dream stays alive here as uh, as Bulldozer Power come round to the top of the order and Cindy Vapid, uh, two of four for her today, and uh, it's all. Uh, it's all in the balance, is what it is. Balance is where it one out. Cindy Vapid puts a difficult one out to right field, and she'll get on base as well. Runners now first and second. And we need a big play. One big play will, uh, will help us out here. And actually, a moderately sized play will do. Failure swings are nothing, and that's going to be a disaster. It's not a disaster. Okay, one more out. Runners now at the corners. We're reliant on Papal Event Horizon to try and uh, get us a run here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, a bit of a fumble there with some uh, some hot pitching action. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not going anywhere. Look at the stats, man. I, it's not something I do. And besides which, we don't need him to do the running. I just want a base... If I can get a base hit, that's all I need. You, you're wasting your time. All right, strike one. They finally decided to throw the ball. Ball one. Okay. Papal event horizon. Ball two. Exciting stuff. Strike two. Didn't like that one. No. Where's this one going? Ball three. That was an edge case call there. Full count. Papal. Slots it. Lovely job. That'll be a run. And uh, the bulldozer power scoring cushion has increased a little. Uh, well, if Furious was about to redeem himself, now is the time. Runners on first and second. Uh, he's 0 for 4 today. That's ball 2. Strike 1. Now, we know Failure's got speed over on second base there. And so uh, he could well go for it. And is doing. Oh, that's gutsy. Oh, and a fumble there at third. Uh, meant that a bad button press by me did not, in fact, get everybody out. And we managed to, we managed to scoop, a, scoop a double there when I'd only intended to advance the leading runner. So uh, that's exciting. Anyway, Zoltan up to bat now. And uh, no, it doesn't matter now. Well, we've done enough. Well, we could have done a bit more, but the uh, the cushion is back to three. That was, that was really flipping. Shouldn't do that. Uh, we're going to bring in the prod. Uh, to try and uh, knock them knock out, knock them down. Three-run lead for Bulldozer Power. Bottom of the ninth. Scott Lemon up to bat. And uh, Oscar Cattle Prod is here to do his thing. That's good enough. Crampo to first. How's that? All right, here's uh, Myra's sacrifice. And uh, we'll see, uh, see what she's got to play with. Strike one. Cow Prods. Ball one. Okay. Have another have another fastball. I've only got two pitches. I mean, you can have them in either order. Uh, but there you go. Come on. That's it. No. No. 
Strike two. Ball two. Cattle prod. Trying to get it done. That one's gone foul. Still two and two is the count. Prod, that's a bit low. She swung at it though. And Prod, he likes it. A little bit of a nod from Prod there. Going, oh yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the stuff. That's what you don't want to see. Well, this brings up Kira Refund. They've got two outs. Last ditch. Pop that one Skyward. We hate some Julie Hardware is under it. And that's the ball game. Bulldozer Power managed to hold on for a win there. Uh, despite doing their best to not hold on for a win. Yep, there you go. Scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, there. Who didn't play well? Uh, well, we, we already know about Furious. We already know about Furious. We know about Furious. We're not gonna we're not gonna reference him here. Um, uh, so uh, the save there awarded to Cattle Prod Chillip Banter, given the win. Uh, given that she pitched through that uh, quiet period in the middle. We hope that uh, uh, Bubbly Merchandise's blister is going to ease off a little bit. It'd be nice to do, get her back into the lineup quickly. Cuckoo Jorsky leading the way in the three stars of the day. Two of four uh, from his at-bats. A couple of runs batted in. Uh, both of my home run heroes only had one hit, and it was in the first inning. Hey, but what? They counted, though, didn't they? Didn't they count? They counted. Well, we've got two games to watch, and that's uh, the Nomads against the Colonel Space Agency to lead us off. And uh, the Space Agency get underway. Well, it's, no, it's over as quickly as it began, that one. Uh, three plays one Space Agency win. The Pathfinders are taking on Erg Mellonflex Chroniclers, and uh, neither team is likely to make postseason at this stage. Uh, but the, the Chroniclers had only won two up to that point, and that'll take them to three. So uh, in the uh, Bombastic Division, Bulldozer Power, three games ahead of Peninsula Transport. Oh, that was a divisional game. Yeah, I'm paying attention. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we've got 11 wins now. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to Hollywood. And uh, Peninsula Transport, really the only team that can catch them, but they're going to have to start winning while Bulldozer Power have to start losing. Clever. That said, both teams are likely to qualify for postseason. Uh, in the woodchipper, Stardozer and Colonel School are tied. Uh, the Nomads are possibly in contention, but again... They're going to need to start winning. Uh, over in uh, Bad Company Conference and the Whoop Whoop Division and fail, Failurewood Hills, uh, top of the tree, uh, with 10 wins. Uh, the Ob City Axemen with 8, uh, within striking zone there. The Pathfinders in third, they're probably out of it, uh, which means that the Fun Bus and, and Chroniclers are also unlikely to see any time in the sun. Uh, into the Sloganator and the Beekeepers, still the strongest team in the league. Uh, with 12 wins, ahead of the Wretched Minstrels with 9. Uh, interestingly enough, 9 would be enough to put them into 2nd or tied for 1st in every other division. I I know. I know. Well, they're 2nd here as well. Okay, then. Yes. Should we move on? Yes, it is. Uh, the Steganauts in 3rd on 7 and 6 could make a late showing. Will they, though? Well, I don't know. It's hard to say, and I'm not the one to say it. Uh, we'll have a quick spin round the league leaders because everybody likes to see some league leaders. Uh, Emmentar Helmet for uh, Bullgrazer Ridge is still top of the tree. When it comes to top tens, what does that even mean? I don't actually anything. Batting top ten, uh, Kojak and Furious are one and two for uh, for batting average ahead of Jack Snaggles uh, for the what team is that? Sports Ball Union um, team. A team that is terrible, actually. So he maybe he's the only player who can actually hit the ball. Uh, for home runs, Helmet is number one. Uh, ahead of Flex in Boam, Teflon, Bear, Flavorings. Uh, Papal tied with six uh, to uh, to register on that scoreboard. And then on the runs batted in, obviously, Bulldozer Power feature heavily. Because when we do score, we score a lot. Uh, moving over on base percentage, it's Kojak up top uh, with uh, Pip Strobelight, Adrian Shoehorn, closely following up. Slugging percentage, it's Emmental Helmet. Uh, moving over into more, yeah, some more batting. Jack Snaggles with 29 hits leads the way so far in the season. Just ahead of Zolt Zoltan. You know, I know, I didn't expect it either. But no, there it is, that's his name. He sat there. Uh, extra base hits. Jack Snaggles again. He's a, he's a good player. Uh, for being struck out, it's MSJN who gets struck out as much as Eric the C-Ape for Colonel School. 
uh, Bingo Hazmat, Sonny Watt picks later. These are all names that pitchers like to see in the opposing lineup. Uh, some more. There you go. Cindy has the most runs scored. No. Really? Well, I find that baffling. But there it is. Cindy has the most runs scored. It's written there in black and white. Uh, stealing bases. Jermaine Jazz, Hammock, Bandit, Joe, Mina, Failure. Uh, Brash Witness, Spatula, Snaggles, Toast King. The names are there. You can read them. Uh, and now we move over to pitching. And uh, Des Eyeliner and Jeff Conservative both get a reference there. But obviously, rotation being a thing. There's not really going to be any outliers. Uh, the, for earned run average, it's Jeff with boats with 0.64, uh, who is top of that particular table. Uh, and uh, Ramsey Pothole uh, for the Lingo Blend All-Stars is uh, is the big dog when it comes to saves. Whip. Don't know what that is. Someone will explain it in the comments. I'll read it. I'll forget it. Okay, good. Let's forget that. Uh, opponent batting average, though. It is the Surgeon General and Rock Hands for the Beekeepers who are the leaders for uh, for restricting the the opposition. You've then got Savvy Cromulent, uh, who leads for the beekeepers uh, with strikeouts, and Surgeon General for the beekeepers uh, that leads for whip, which is probably quite good. Carol Flourish for the beekeepers and rock hands. For, this is why the beekeepers are number one, and it's their pitching unit. Uh, strikeouts for, nine, for every nine innings, and uh, Savvy Cromulent makes a... Uh, Gets in there. Yeah, certainly does. Uh, Rudy Trembles is averaging over one strikeout an inning, which is pretty nice. In fact, all of the top ten are. I'll shut up then. Uh, walks. Jeff, conservative, has yet to give up a walk. We don't give up a lot of walks, you know. We don't. That's just not, not something that we do. Uh, so there you go. I've been Colonel Failure. Tune in next week when Bulldozer Power continue their charge to glory. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.